In this video, we will make this awesome fabric item that plays a sound when you right click. Let's begin. Open your development environment for your mod. If you don't have one yet, watch the video in the eye icon or click the link in the description. Adding a basic item in fabric is super easy. First, we must make an instance of our item so we can register it. Write public static final item, then the item name, then equals new item, new item.settings.group, item group.misc. Then import anything that needs importing. This will create our item and show it in the miscellaneous tab of the creative inventory. You can change what tab it appears in by changing the item group. Now we must register our item so that it appears in the game. In the uninitialized method, write registry.register, registry.item, then add new identifier, which tells the game what the item is and what namespace it's located in. You can see this in action when you try to call the give method. Each block has Minecraft colon before it. This is how our item will work, except it will be our mod ID instead of the word Minecraft. The first argument the identifier takes is your mod ID, which is the same one you chose in the settings file when setting up your mod. Then, the second argument is the name of the item with underscores. We can change this name with the lang file later. The last argument of the register method is a copy of your item. Now, if we open Minecraft by clicking the green play button, we should be able to see our item working, but it won't have a texture, so let's add one now. To give our item a texture, we must create a JSON file for it. The model should be located at resources, assets, your mod ID, models, item, and then the name of your item that you registered in the uninitialize method plus dot JSON. Inside this file, we will choose how our item is displayed. Open a set of curly braces, then create a parent field. The parent field tells Minecraft what parent it should get its settings from. If you set it to item forward slash generated, it will be held like a normal item and make the model based on the item texture. If you want it to be held like a pickaxe or sword, which means at the bottom of the texture, use item forward slash handheld. Now create a textures field and then a layer zero field inside. Now set this to the location of your texture, like so, mod ID colon item forward slash then the item's name. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on all the cool things you can do with, with the item model, let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and create this file. Open resources, assets, mod ID, textures, item, and place in your PNG, which is the, has the same name as you put in the model file. I've linked the sample image in the description. Look, our item now has a texture. Now I said we would make our item play sounds, but currently it doesn't. In order to make more advanced items, we must create a class for our item. In the same package as coolmod.java, make a new class to represent your item. I'll call mine fabriciteitem.java. Add the package and class declarations, and then add extends item. After you import item, the IDE should complain, asking you to create a constructor. Do that. Now, we have a class that represents our item. Going back to our main class, we can change item to our class. Now, if we were to run our game, nothing would have changed. But now, we have, can override methods from the item class to get our item to have the desired effect. We will override the use method, which is called every time the player right-clicks the item. Back in our item class, add, at override, public, typed action result, item stack, use, world, world. Player entity, player entity, hand, hand. Inside the body, we can call play sound on the player entity and tell it we want to play the wool breaking sound at full volume and normal pitch. Now we must return if this action was successful or not. Add return new typed action result, action result dot success, player entity dot get stack in hand, hand. Success! Launching the game and right clicking with our item should play the wool breaking sound. If you want to change the strange looking name of our item, you can click the I or link in the description and learn how to use language files. There are many other methods in the item class that you can override. Go crazy and tell me all about your creations in the comments below. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified of future modding tutorials. Thanks for watching!